welcome to February. So here's the thing. Last month when I came back from my little hiatus, I did the readings a little bit different than usual. I gave you your lucky days, your crystal of the month, your chakras to work on, all that stuff. I'm still going to give you that information. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet, whether that'll be through Facebook or through email or maybe I'll make another video. But I cut it out of these um, for now because I wanted to keep these shorter so that I would have more time in this month to do love readings, hopefully, for you guys um, since it's the month of Valentine's Day. So we're going to go back to the way we used to do things way, way back, and we'll just get started with your reading. So um, first thing, though, I am going to include your lucky days and your unlucky days of the month for February just because... Um, those might occur for some signs before uh, the love readings come out or before I get that information out to everybody with the extra stuff. So um, your unlucky day this month is February 5th and your luckiest day this month is the 8th, which is interesting because 8s are um, totally a Leo number. That strength card that kind of represents Leo is the number 8 in the Major Arcana of Tarot. So what's going on for Leos this month in February? And they say things are not as done or as completed, as wrapped up with a little pretty bow on them as you want them to be. Um, a lot of things that started in January, you were hoping they'd be done in February, and they're just not yet, and that kind of sucks. Um, but this is actually a good thing, because as things are progressing and taking their time, it does create a less uh, dramatic sort of endeavor. And you might be feeling like, okay, well, if things aren't moving and shifting, if they're not ending, how am I supposed to just, like, be done with it and move on to the next step? And they're saying, um, well, the good thing is that it's not creating with all of the fiery kind of drama um, a, a sort of energy where you're creating more problems for yourself that you would have to overcome. So, good. What else is up for Leos in February? Um, yeah, they're saying February should be a very drama-free kind of month for you. And that's basically kind of all I'm getting. I wonder if this month will be very, in, um, have a lot of stuff to do with your love life just because um, I'm intentionally not connecting with the spirit realm about your love life since I will be doing readings for those later. Um, okay, so they're saying, you know, your major frustration is just that things are going a lot slower than you wish they would be. Maybe you're waiting for um, a legal matter to resolve, and it's just taking forever and forever. The court dates keep getting delayed. Maybe you're waiting for your tax refund, and it's just taking way longer than expected. There's this energy of, like, things are going too slow, and um, maybe you're waiting for a promotion, something like that. But it's just... Things are going the way that they're supposed to. Unfortunately, that's just exactly the energy you're supposed to be in right now. And what they're saying is that a lot of what's happening for you with this energy is just like, oh my gosh, I just don't fucking care anymore. Like, I can't keep caring about this, like if it's taking forever. And I mean, for some of you, I guess this could be in regards to your relationship. Maybe you're waiting to take it to the next level and you're starting to be like, I resent my partner because, you know, they're dragging their feet and we've been together for a while and it's time to move in together, get married or whatever. Um, but what they're saying here is that all of the things that you're desiring, the outcome that you want in this specific situation, it is actually working for you behind the scenes in ways that you can't see, okay? And you'll be really thrilled and excited and happy about the outcome. You know, we started with that circle energy of like things are not complete, but here we have this energy of completion with like um, a circle, right? And this circle is filled with all of the colors of the rainbow, which means that it will be good for you in all aspects of your life. Now, both of these beings here, the lion, which is, you know, a, um, you know, it, an animal that represents strength and passion and excitement and drive and enthusiasm, um, is colored blue, which is mean, which means you need to communicate that. Whereas the bird is a good communicator, right? They sing in the morning and they sing at night, but it's got the color of passion and fire and drive. So both both um, sides of yourself, 
you know, the feminine, the masculine, the positive, the negative, have this enthusiasm and drive um, for the outcome that you're desiring. And the universe is going to provide this for you. You see how it's shooting all of these light rays um, through here. So, you know, encouragement, excitement, and then with the blue energy, you know, an emotionally content and peaceful, calm, you know, happy and result. But the thing is, is that their backs are turned to this cauldron. So the enthusiasm, the excitement represented by fire for what it is that you desire, what it is that you want, is brewing somewhere behind you, somewhere that you can't see because you're looking the other way. The spirit world is protecting you, and they're working towards getting you the outcome that you want. Unfortunately, it's taking longer than you wish, but, you know, it's for a reason. It's for things to work out for their highest good as far as you're concerned. So I would not push anything. I would kind of just try to be okay with the fact that things are taking the time that they are and saying, you know what, everything happens in um, divine timing. Everything happens at the perfect time in the perfect way for my life. And really asserting that and feeling that and being excited for the way that things will turn out is showing the universe this um, aspect of trust that it will nourish you because it will. That's what it's saying. And you know, with that art card, the number one and four is saying like, this is about being able to create something, you know, from nothing. It's a new beginning that will increase harmony, balance, stability for you. And you just got to be patient, essentially, is what that's saying. So as far as affirmations go and what kind of um, things we could be saying to ourselves to help us with this energy um, is, you know, with movement. So this month you're going to want to make sure that you're moving around because that stagnant energy of waiting might play out in your body. You might feel a little bit sore or achy. And so... Um, Affirmations you can say to yourself are, our tensions in my body dissolve with mindful movement. As I move, I can feel energy flow into my body's extremities. Slow, mindful hand movements help me pay attention to the moment. And I think like a lot of these affirmations, like as you kind of wiggle and jiggle around, are going to help you be more comfortable with having to be patient this month. Um, and it says rhythmic movements such as dancing, boost my mental harmony. And so, you know, to feel more okay with having to wait for things to pay off for you in unexpected ways, uh, that, that will definitely help. So they're saying that this month you are tasked with the bear energy, saying that nurturing creativity and returning to the sweetness of life is going to be important. So again, with that mindfulness, taking time to enjoy things as you're waiting is going to be very, very helpful. And this will also sharpen your senses with the fox, okay? So the fox um, helps you to observe the actions of other people, which will maybe kind of give you a clue as to why this timing issue is actually working out for the highest good of all parties involved. Um, so they're saying, yeah, remaining centered is a big thing. You're going to want to stay as grounded as possible and focus on your own tranquility and uh, don't try to force things to go a little bit quicker um, just because you're antsy for them too because you might miss out on some of those blessings. It says no matter how stressful the day is, your intention is to remain centered and calm and to learn that you get to control your own psychic energy, like how, you, it, how it is that you're feeling as a result of um, what you're thinking, okay? So if you decide internally that you are going to be okay with things taking the time that they take, you're really doing yourself a huge favor because what's happening then is your um is you're not creating a stressful situation out of nothing. Being stressed out about something or the timing of something or trying to force it to go quicker doesn't actually get the outcome that you want for you. It's just another reason to freak out. So I hope you enjoy your February, and I can't wait to give you all the rest of the extras and your love readings uh, very soon. Bye! Thanks so much for watching this 
video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!